This week's video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Lost Latvian here with another cap unboxing. Are you getting sick of me showing you too many Topper Store USA caps? Well, can't help you. Just kidding. I got two boxes to open, and uh, neither one of them come from Topper Store USA. So let's get into it, you know. Uh, so the first one, first one I got here, Anthem Shop, my favorite shop in Canada. And tell you what, my dreams finally came through. And you will understand it when once I show you this cap. If you are a follower of my channel, and you go back and watch the videos, you will know why I'm gonna say that, why am I, I'm saying that. Because a while back, I missed out on a cap. And uh, I was kind of disappointed. There was another one um, uh, showed up and I bought that one once I received it. The front logo was so tiny, you know, that I just couldn't stand it. Ever since, I've got another cap, which was a blue dome or whatnot, and I loved that one. But the cap I mi mi missed out was very similar to this one, what I'm just about to show you. And uh, in that video, when I got the cap with the small front logo, I was bitching about it, you know how I missed out on this other cap, you know, and now I'm stuck with that particular one, you know, small logo one. And uh, so here we are. I am not sure for 100% if this is the same cap re-released or is it a newer version, but uh, this one is freaking very, very similar to that one. So... Let's take a look. Look at this blue Canadian flag. It's kind of crazy. It's done in blue color. And it's quite big to be honest with, you know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how I exactly feel about it. The flag being that big. I think a little smaller one would have looked better. I think this is a little oversized. It's another Toronto Marlies. And so that cap had this, this logo, you know, up front, and it was tinier than this one. But here's the front logo. This is how this Marlies logo is done properly. So now I have three different versions. I have a blue version of this cap with the same like front logo. Then I got this one up front. It's a white one, like an off-white one with this tiny freaking logo. And now I got this one. So the collection is sort of, so to speak, complete, you know. I got all kinds of, all, all versions, you know. And the only thing is, like, I, I'm not 100% sure that this is a same exact cap re-released of what I missed out on. I, somehow I believe it's not, that it's a little different. But still, this is a freaking good-looking AHL cap. And for a change, you know, there is no AHL logo on the back of it, but just a Canada's flag just done in blue. What do you guys think? So dome is white, what it looks to me. I, it's not stone. I don't think it's a stone. It's a, it's a white one. Blue brim, gray UV, beautifully done Marley's logo. Absolutely adore this cap. That's cap number one. Uh, Anim Shop in Canada. 
let's look at the other one. So two caps today, I believe. I don't, unless this one's gonna have two caps and the box is kind of big and it's Capanoa. Uh, this one, I don't fucking remember what's in there, man. This has been sitting around for over a month, I believe. But let's just cut it open and and, 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 and see what's in there. Let's see what Capanoa uh, sent to us. So let's just open it up and okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's this guy. And uh, you know I'm Padres fan. And I have a very hard time of finding a properly made Padres cap, you know, like uh, Capland, which is, I believe, based in San Diego, you know, like that is the one store which they are professionals of making a fucking garbage man, you know, like I have not seen, I have copped from them before, but I have never been satisfied with the Padres caps they make, you know, like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with that store, you know, they're expensive, and uh, the designs are just completely off, whoever is designing the caps, I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of yours, um, nothing looks good to me, you know, uh, this one, Capanova, came out with this Padres cap, and I was like, man, this is, this is how the caps should be made, you know, the colorway is great, you know, and everything was great about is great about this cap. Uh, so yeah, let's let let's look at it. So it's a black dome, flat batterman. Then look at the side patch, Petco. I mean, you can debate if you like this side patch or not, or is there a better one? And Here's the front logo. That is how you do the proper Padres cap, you know. Uh, here's the pin. Let me remove it. Uh, I don't. I don't usually wear the pins, you know. I kind of care less. Uh, but uh, so here's the pin. Hopefully, camera can focus on it. But let's look at this Padres. Look how, how beautifully this one is done. You know, look at the colorways, you know, black and brown and yellowish and uh, kind of earth tones. It's fucking good, man, you know. It really is a good cap. That's Kaplan. That's how you do the caps. Not your freaking junk, you know. To me, it's a junk, you know, whatever you guys make and I'm a Padres fan, you know. I can't wear that crap what you guys making. No fucking way. Rarely, rarely you guys create something decent. And then you, you price your caps at 60 bucks or whatnot, you know. And you uh, compare your caps with Topper Store or Head Dreams or this one from Capanoa. <clears throat> you know, why would anybody buy that freaking junk? Sorry for being harsh, but I just don't like your guys' caps. There's nothing good about it. This one, fucking stunner, man. So black dome, brown, coffee brown, coffee and milk brown, uh, brim, gray UE, black guts. That's how you do the perfect Padres cap, size check, next. 718, cap made in Bangladesh. So, yeah, a little lower crown. I don't mind Bangladesh caps. What you guys think? It fits perfect, perfectly. Totally love it, man. This is a good Padres cap. Yep, and this cap actually did not sell out initially. I don't know if it sold out or not, but 
hey guys, you missed out on a good one. If it's gone, if not, then go and grab one. Compare this one with caps available at uh, Capland. You'll see what I'm talking about. So this one fits good. Let's check out the Marley's. So caps made also in Bangladesh. Perfect fit. You gotta love it, you know? That's what I'm talking about. When you get the caps, which are true to your size, I mean, it's, 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 it's absolutely wonderful, you know? That you have no worries, no nothing. You just wear them as they are and uh, enjoy your caps. So what do you guys think about these two? I think they are stunners. AHL, AHL cap with this Marley's Major League Baseball. Padres, Marley's, which one you like better? To me, I can, I can tell which one I like better. I like them both for their reasons you know, for what they are. Slight edge is to this one. If this big Canada's flag would have been a little smaller, then I would have, I would have liked this one better, you know. But still, solid, solid two caps. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Tell me what you think, would you, also cap these two, cup these two. Do you think they are good enough for your collection as well or not? Anyway, boss well, let me in here and I'm getting out of here. So yeah, uh, thank you again for watching me mumbling here for whatever minutes. Really appreciate it. Love making these videos for you guys and uh, my wish to all of you is enjoy this fall season. Uh, take care, stay healthy and see you all very soon. Thanks so much. Love that, you know.